Good evening, everyone. This is Lorraine again. Nice to see you again. I hope you had a wonderful day. My gosh, we had such mild weather here in Can Eastern Canada today. It was unbelievable. It was just like spring. I went out for a walk and, oh, the breeze was just warm and the sun was lovely. It was just a joy. There is still a little bit of snow on the ground and I'm sure we'll get lots more, but these days are special and uh, I really enjoy them. Anyways, I hope you had a good day. Um, I hope you got your shopping done. You're getting excited for the holidays and getting together with your family and friends. Such a special time of year, no matter what you're celebrating, no matter what your religious denomination or not, it is always a special time of the year, no matter where in the world you are living. So uh, the preparation is always a lot of fun too. So this evening, what I'm going to do is, uh, my name is Lorraine again, I live in Canada, and I'm just starting these YouTube videos, and I'm going to start with showing you, or sharing with you, my evening skincare routine. So what I'm going to start with is, uh, first of all, I want to make it very clear that I am not a dermatologist, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a cosmetician, or a I'm no expert at all in skin care. What I do and the, the practices that I practice on my skin are, are done because of my own research, is just reading various things from various specialists, dermatologists, and I'll link a few of them below that I really uh, like to learn from. And I've learned most of my information just this past year during the pandemic. I always took care of my skin. Even from the time I was a teenager, I always put on um, a moisturizer under my makeup. And my makeup as a teenager was nothing but uh, powder. I never wore foundation as a young woman at all. And then at night, I would take off that powder with a cleansing cream and then just splash my face. I don't know where I learned or heard that soap was not good for your skin, but I've always sort of followed that that uh, rule and and I haven't used soap on my skin but I've always used a moisturizer and a cleansing cream and then at night um, a night cream and nothing expensive uh, people would ask me what I use to take care of my skin and I would say whatever's on sale I used a lot of Avon products in those days actually they had them at a very reasonable price many different types and another thing about skin care, and indeed about anything that I use uh, on my skin, including all kinds of makeup, I really like variety. It's very, very seldom that I will repurchase a certain item, not because I don't like it or because it doesn't work. I just like using different products. There's so many to try. And uh, it, part of the experience of doing all this is that it's pleasurable. It's it's pleasing to use all these lovely creams, and I, I like the, the various scents. I like a nice, mild scent. So I like experimenting with different products. So we're going to start with removing my eye makeup. And what I'm going to use for this is Belinda Eye Makeup Remover. I'm going to show you here. Now, I purchased this on the website Lady Makeup. And I've put the link down below. This is very expensive. It was like $2 US, which would be, you know, two seventy five dollars Canadian. And uh, really and truly. Now, it works. It doesn't work as well as the Neutrogena eye makeup remover, which I've used in the past. But it certainly does work. So I'm putting some on a, a little cotton pad here. And I just press this. I start with my brow and take off my, my brow. And then I press this in here. And I do find that this particular eye makeup remover takes a little more work than the uh, Neutrogena. I also have tried the Lancome one, and it's very nice as well. But you know what? For two seventy five, <laughs> really and truly, plus shipping, of course, um, this one isn't bad. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure I would repurchase this one. I do like the Neutrogena one and the uh, Lancome one, but again, there are probably others to try, and I probably will look for a, a different one just for fun. So I'm, I've done this eye, now I've taken the makeup off. I never ever use waterproof mascara. Um, apparently it, it only comes off with soap and water or something like that. It doesn't even come off with 
eye makeup remover, but I don't like anything that's going to be so stuck to my lashes. I'm always afraid it's going to pull the lashes out. So I always don't wear um, waterproof mascara. So I'm going to take the makeup off my other eye and I'll pause for now and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. So the next step is going to be to remove my makeup from my face. Now what I'm using today is, again, Belinda Fresh Juice Makeup Remover Wipes. And again, I bought these by uh, from Lady Makeup and they're quite inexpensive. Now, I don't usually use makeup wipes, but I thought I would just try them just for fun. And I have to say, they, they're, they're supposed to smell like oranges and they do, and it's quite pleasant to use them. And uh, they, they, they do work, but uh, apparently these are quite, they have quite a bit of alcohol in them and they're a bit hard on your skin. So I likely won't repurchase these. What I used last time was ELF um, Cleansing Balm, Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful product. Oh gee, you just put that on your finger and it just sinks into your skin and just removes melts away all that makeup on your skin and uh oh, it's just it's just lovely and in fact i i am um, i've used a couple of makeup remover bombs and i may try some others but i certainly may repurchase that elf one because it was very very nice now when i'm taking off my makeup especially around my hairline because my hair is white, I have to be really careful putting on my foundation. I have to blend it in very well. And by the same token, I have to uh, be careful removing it. So I have to make sure that my hair isn't uh, stained with the foundation. So here we go. And it's all coming off quite nicely. You see? And I just fold it again and try and get as much off as I can. This is the first cleanse. I really believe in double cleansing. I didn't know about double cleansing until the past year. That's something that I've learned about. And um, the goal of the first cleanse is to remove the makeup. And the goal of the second cleanse is to remove any traces of makeup and also to deep clean the skin. So I've done that now. What I'm going to do is go to the bathroom, go to the washroom, and uh, do the second cleanse. So I will be right back with you. Hello, I'm back. So here I have now a big face. Oh, oh my God. A clean face, what I've used for the second cleanse is Skin Cosmetics Olive and Enzyme Cleanser. I love that company, Skin Cosmetics. I buy them from the Shopping Channel, or Today's Shopping Choice is the new name for it here in Canada, and it's similar to the HSN in the U.S. Dimitri James is the owner and creator of this company. He creates the products. I mean, he's a real hands-on guy. He's very entertaining to watch as he does his presentations. And his products are just, without a doubt, they are just wonderful. I've bought his products many times over, I'm sure, 15, 18 years. And um, so what I'm going to use tonight, what I'm going to start with, though, is going to be um, the moisturizer that I'm going to use which is not skin cosmetics, it's Neutrogena. So the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. This one you see advertised on TV all the time. This is a beautiful cream. I bought this uh, at Shoppers Drug Mart. And what I'm going to start with is a little bit on my fingers to put around my eyes. I do not use an eye cream. Now, that's not to say that I have never used an eye cream. If I, if I get one uh, as a sample, or as part of a kit, I, ha I have used it. But I don't think I've ever really bought specifically an eye cream. I really don't think it's necessary. I know the skin is very delicate around the eyes, so I just pat it in very gently. But I use the same moisturizer as I use on my skin, and I just use the same around my eyes. 
What I'm going to use next is a retinol serum, and I would not put that around my eyes. I think it's probably too strong to put around my eyes, so I just use this moisturizer for now. And indeed, I'm going to be using a skin age reset serum. This is a beautiful serum. It has retinol, vitamin C, ferulic acid, all kinds of goodies in it. Now, I always use retinol at night. And by the way, I treat my chest skin exactly the same as my face. I did not use a sunscreen for, oh, I don't know, the first 40 years of my life. And uh, now mind you, I never was one really to go out in the sun, but still, interestingly, it didn't have that bad an effect on my face, but it really had quite an effect on my chest. And I've been treating this skin for about nine months. It is, you can still see sunspots and discoloration, but it's much better than it used to be. So it takes a long time for skin products to work. You have to be dedicated and you have to really, you know, use these products regularly. So I'm going to put this serum on my face. And what I do is I always use retinol. And what I'm doing now is I'm alternating between two products. This one, the skin serum, and also this little one. This one is from Braley. Now I bought that one from AliExpress. This is an Asian product and I've looked it up. It has wonderful reviews. It has a, a lot of respect in that part of the world and it's very, very inexpensive. It's about $10 Canadian shipped for 0.5 of an ounce. So that would be about $20 an ounce, which is not that cheap, but it's certainly cheaper than uh, many retinol products that you would get here. So I alternate between those two. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'll put this uh, skin away. And now the next thing is to moisturize. So I'm going to be using my Neutrogena. And I'll start with my chest. And again, I like to alternate moisturizers. Uh, I have one here, which is very nice. It's um, one of these Hydro Boost ones. Laneige. This one is in Laneige. Anyway, that's very nice. So I do use that one sometimes. I, again, I like, I like variety with my products. I just do. And so I'm going to put this here. And the final thing I do is, oh, I forgot to tell you about my, uh, my spray that I use after cleansing. Now, according to Dr. Dre, a witch hazel spray or any kind of a rose spray, this is the one I've been using, facial mist, this facial mist. Apparently, these have quite a bit of alcohol in them. But you know what? I really enjoy using that. It's just a cool spray. It just feels good. Now, it hasn't done any harm to my skin. It has a lovely, gentle fragrance. So as long as it's not doing any harm, if it's not doing any good, well, that's okay. It's not that expensive, and it's just a bit of a treat. So there you go. So the final step in my skincare is to use the Skin Divine Elixir Facial Oil with Manuka Honey. This is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Two drops. And again, it has a lovely, gentle scent. And this, you just pat this on all over your moisturizer, and it just locks in all that moisturizer. Because nighttime, apparently, is the time that these products really go to work on your skin. There's something about sleeping that really uh, is the best time for these products to sink in and do their thing. So I'm going to put this ar around my face. I, I do avoid my eyes putting these. The only thing I put around my eyes is a moisturizer, really. And you know, honestly, 
At 75, nothing in the world is going to remove those wrinkles. Yes, they may soften a little bit. You know, they show these before and after things, but I don't know. And I don't really, I don't care that much, really. But anyway, so there is my routine for the night. And I'm very happy to share all that with you. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. Uh, tell me what you do at night, what special routine you have, or things that you've tried that worked for you. I would love to hear from you. So, good night, sleep tight, and I'll see you in my next video. Good night.